Good morning, Dean. Good morning to you. How's your run this morning? Oh, you know, can't complain. It's a little cooler than yesterday, so that's always good. So where are you headed today? Oh, you know, I'm not, not quite sure. I guess I'll just get in my car and I'll drive until I feel the need to get out. Oh, I like that. You know, there's this beautiful forest and a really nice reservoir right behind it. Yeah? Where is that? Just off Carbine first. of gas has to do with anything. No, it's only gone to pennies in the last few weeks, so. I really don't think the domino effect applies here. Okay, then don't pay for me when we go places. You don't have a good enough reason to end this. <laughs> okay, fine. I hope you have a great life. No, I'm kidding. Screw yourself. Checked off two of these. Could do some myself. Maybe combine some hiking in the forest. There's that place off Caribbean first. Hey, Andy. Uh, I don't think I can come into work today. No, I'm. I'm so sorry. I just, I've been throwing up all day and all night. Can't Kelly do it? Isn't she working today? Yeah, no, I, I would come in if, if I thought I could. I just, I don't think it's going to happen. Used to say I want to die before I'm old, but because of you I might think twice. I don't care what's in your hair. I just want to know what's in your mind.
How's it going? <laughs> I'm Natalie, by the way. Well, come sit down, Natalie. I'm Dean. <sighs> so, Dean, what brings you here? Okay. Um, well, I'm a photographer, and every day I go somewhere different in hopes to find that perfect frame. Hmm. A photographer, that's cool. I guess I'm sort of a photographer myself. Oh, yeah? Yeah, uh, I took a picture of the lake over there. It came up pretty nice, see? It's neat. You don't like it? No, I, I, I didn't mean to. No, uh, go ahead. Uh, it's just not professional. And yours are professional? Uh, well, it is my profession. Hmm, so uh, who do you work for? Okay, yeah, well, it's not like that, um... What, what do you mean? Well, I, I go out and I take photographs every day. From there, I upload to my website, where people can view them for free. They can illegally download them. Or if they're feeling generous, they can donate money to me for however much they think that particular piece is worth. So, you're not really a professional at all? Well, it's how I make my money, so technically, yeah, it's my profession. Yeah, but you're not actively selling your product. Okay, what I do is, is art, and art is only worth what someone's willing to pay for it. If someone wants to buy a piece of mine, then they're going to pay me what they think I deserve. And chances are they're going to be honest about it. But I don't care how good it is. I would just download it for free. Okay, I, um, okay, think about it like this. Your favorite artists, like musician, artists, they come into town and they put on a concert and you go to it and it's great. But the only way for them to make more music and put on more shows is if you pay them. Now you get to set the price. Keep in mind that this is your all-time favorite artist. Like nothing compares to them. How much would you pay to see them again? Yeah, I, I guess I get it. I just, I couldn't imagine taking that risk. Yeah. What do you do? I stand in the heat all day and push a button so kids can ride a roller coaster. You're a carny? Yep. <laughs> yeah, you see, I, I couldn't ever, I couldn't ever imagine doing that. Mmm, pays the bills. Yeah, but you're miserable all day and every second you're out there, you're not actively pursuing your dreams. I actually should be there right now. <laughs> what would you do, call in sick? Yeah. Why? Well, my boyfriend, or... Now ex-boyfriend uh, works there too, and I don't want to deal with that today. What, did you dump him? No, got dumped. Uh, I'm sorry, did it happen recently? Don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, he actually called me this morning to tell me that dating is expensive and he can't afford to have a girlfriend right now. Which is total BS, he just couldn't think of a good enough excuse to actually break up with me. The relationship's been over for a while now, anyways. I, we haven't seen each other outside of work in weeks. So, um, what's your romantic situation? I do alright. Just alright. Just that. Yeah, and I told you my whole situation. And that was your choice. But, you know, I, I get around. You know, meet, a, meet a girl in a coffee shop or a bookstore every once in a while. I think when I was supposed to meet the the love of my life, then the opportunity is going to present itself. You're not like looking for anyone? Like you don't do the whole online dating? No. And uh, to tell you the truth, I don't. I don't even have a computer or a phone or anything. Wait, you don't. You don't have a computer. Then how do you upload your pictures onto your website? Yeah. Uh, you see, I go to the public library. They got one off of Washington Street. Yeah, I go up. They got about seven computers on the second floor, I just, I just use those. <laughs> You're kidding. No, I, I really like the way things used to be before the technology boom. If you wanted to talk to someone, you just go to that house and you talk to them. I think, I think the iPhone is really like the worst creation ever made. I really do. I mean, it blocks people from what is real. Have, have you seen that commercial they play in theaters before films sometimes, you know, where the audience is watching Jurassic Park? No. Okay, well, it's, it's real corny, bad acting, the whole nine yards. Essentially what it is, though, is this guy who's too busy being on his phone that he misses the most important part of the movie. Yeah, 
So, I never thought I'd see that sort of thing in real life. But there I was the other day at a ball game. It's the bottom of the ninth, all tied up, full count. I mean, this is the most exciting pitch in the entire game. The crowd's going wild trying to throw off the pitcher. Everyone, except for this one guy sitting next to me. He's sitting there on his phone like he has been the entire game. Except for this one point when he got up to go to the restroom, which is how I know that this guy can stand. Right, well, the pitcher winds up. 40,000 people are stopped. And so the batter hammers a home run 60 feet over the fence. I go wild. The crowd goes wild. It's crazy. Well, eventually I bend down to get my water bottle so I can go home. And the guy looks up to me and he says, what just happened? <sighs> Natalie, I was so pissed. So that's why you don't have a phone? You yeah, more or less. What about like all the good technology's done for the world? Like I can learn anything I want right now. You know, say we were talking about authors, for example. I can look up who wrote what when they wrote it, why they wrote that particular book at that particular time, and anything else they wrote. I can look up anything I want right now, and it's all because of this little device. Hold on. Hello? <sighs> Slow down. I'm sorry, I, I have to go. Already? Yeah, it's an emergency, I'm sorry. Goodbye. Bye, Dean. I follow you into the park, through the jungle, through the dark. Girl, I never love one like you. Boats and boats and waterfalls, alleyways and people call. I'll be here never do we think we'll die better on a summer night? Nothing new is sweeter than with you. And every street we run a free like it's only you and me. Jesus, you are something to see. Oh, oh, let me go home. Home is right around with you. Dean, I had a wonderful time talking to you, and I hope our paths cross again. Who knows? Maybe we'll meet in a coffee shop or a bookstore. Natalie. Let me come home, home is whenever